Vacuum circuit breaker dominates the medium voltage switchgear market. Similarly, the SF6 circuit breaker completely dominates the high and extra high voltage switchgear market. We should not be surprised now if the vacuum circuit breaker also replaces the SF6 circuit breaker in the high voltage market. That is possible. And in this video, we are going to break down the differences between these two excellent arc quenching technologies that is vacuum and SF6 circuit breakers. Hello everyone, welcome to the video. If you are new here, my name is Gaurav Jay. On this channel, I simplify electrical engineering. You will find a lot of content on this channel that will certainly help you in doing your job in a better way and making you feel confident. So definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already for getting updates on such interesting videos. Today we are talking about the differences between the vacuum and SF6 circuit breaker. Now both of this technology does their job perfectly well. Vacuum is very good in arc quenching. SF6 is also excellent in the arc quenching, no doubt about that. They do their job perfectly well. But when it comes to the comparison of these two, there are certainly some subtle changes in these technologies which we are going to explore in today's video. So let us start with the first difference that is the operating voltage at which they operate. So vacuum circuit breaker, they are, as I mentioned initially, dominates the medium voltage switchgear market and they are most widely used in uh, the medium voltage range, which is up to 52 kilo volts. Now, there are some manufacturers like Siemens Energy. They have also developed a 420 kilo volts vacuum interrupter, which they recently presented. And that's why I mentioned if vacuum technology takes over the SF6 market coming soon, I think we should not be surprised with that. But currently it is most widely used in up to 52 kilo volts. That is the distribution voltage level. The SF6 on the other hand is available up to 800 kilo volts, which is the highest transmission voltage here in India. And they do perfectly a good job in quenching the arc at the higher voltage levels. They also certainly available in the medium voltage. Uh, but as I mentioned, the dominance is more of the vacuum circuit breakers. So that is the operating voltage difference. Moving on, uh, let's talk about the arc quenching methodology. Now, in the SF6 circuit breaker, when the contacts are separated, the arc is stuck and then we bombard the SF6 gas onto that arc so that it can take away uh, the free electrons from the atmosphere of that uh, interrupter because SF6 gas is an electronegative gas and that attracts the free electrons, thereby helping in quenching the arc. So in this technology, we can say that SF6 gas is used to quench the arc. SF6 is the active parameter in arc quenching, right? But when we compare it with the vacuum technology, vacuum technology, vacuum is not, you know, directly involved in the arc quenching medium, but it is more uh, useful in building the dielectric strength that is needed to quench the arc. So when the rate of rise of recovery voltage comes into picture, then definitely we must have to have higher dielectric strength so that the rate of rise of dielectric strength wins the race and not the rate of rise of recovery voltage. So this is what we can call it as a passive form of working. So vacuum is used to build the required dielectric strength, but the SF6 circuit breaker, SF6 gas is actively used to quench the arc. Right, that is the difference between arc quenching methodology. And if you're interested in learning how these breakers work, how the vacuum circuit breaker work, how the SF6 circuit breaker work, I have a dedicated videos explaining these two methodology in detail. You can go and check it out. I'll put a link for it down in the description. That is the second difference. Moving on to the third uh, difference, that is the contact design. Now we are talking about the contacts inside the interrupter of that. Vac design of the vacuum interrupter is uh, simple when we compare it with the SF6 uh, technology. It only has two contacts. One is the fixed one, another one is the moving one. But of course, there are uh, variations into that contact, uh, like we have butt type contacts, we have uh, the radial magnetic field, we have axial magnetic field type contact. So, but uh, more or less, there will be only two contacts in the vacuum interrupter. 
when we see the sf6 interrupter uh, we also have additional arcing contacts into that so the brown portion that you will see is the arcing contact one is fixed one is moving and then we also have a main contacts like one is moving another one is uh, fixed so main contact carries the regular current that flows into the system and when arc occurs uh, that arcing contact carries the fault current so that is the difference between how the contacts are placed inside the interrupter part. Vacuum only has two, uh, but SF6 has two main contacts and two arcing contacts. Now, when we talk about the dielectric strength of these two breakers, both are doing the job perfectly well, no doubt about that. But since we are comparing, uh, uh, we can say vacuum has a higher uh, dielectric strength compared to the SF6 gas. SF6 also has higher, uh, but in comparison with the vacuum, definitely vacuum will score more mark there. And that is also the reason why, you know, some of the critical applications uh, like generator switching, vacuum does a perfectly very good job into that compared to SF6 uh, circuit breakers. So that is the differences uh, between the dielectric strength. And basically this difference in the dielectric strength also takes us to the next uh, uh, difference that is the contact gap so this is this has to be a contact gap not the dielectric strength here so the contact gap of vacuum can be smaller now what do i mean by that you see the gap between these two contact is what are we referring as the contact gap right this is smaller in the vacuum technology compared to the sf6 gas because since the dielectric strength is not strong enough we need to increase the gap between the contacts right uh, now this is like one to one comparison I'm saying if let's say this is a 145 kilovolt interrupter of vacuum and 145 kilovolt interrupter of SF6 then of course the contact gap will there will be difference and as a result the size of the interrupter will also vary because of that. This is possible why because the dielectric strength of the vacuum is higher compared to the SF6 gas. Moving on to the next difference that is the short circuit operations. Now vacuum has higher short circuit operation capabilities compared to the SF6 gas. Now please remember we are talking about the short circuit operations where the, the fault current is there, current is abnormal. That condition we are talking. Certainly uh, in normal operating conditions they can do more than 10,000 operations, no, no, no doubt about that. But here we are talking about the short circuit operations when the fault occurs, when the current is in the abnormal conditions. In that scenario, uh, since the dielectric strength is higher, uh, the vacuum interrupters are sealed for life. Uh, it, it gives a little advantage to them and their dial, um, the short circuit breaking op number of operations of the short circuit is higher than that of the SF6 gas. And this is the reason, as I mentioned, you will find the vacuum interrupters used most commonly in the critical applications like generator circuit breakers. They are mostly uh, used in there because their short circuit breaking operations, number of operations, they can perform higher than that of the SF6 circuit breakers. Now let's talk about another important differentiation that is the interrupter replacement. Now let, let's imagine something goes wrong with the interrupter. In vacuum, it is very easy to do because in vacuum, we get such type of vacuum bottles which directly can be replaced uh, and maybe you can carry some spare vacuum bottles, vacuum interrupters in that case. When we talk about the SF6 circuit breaker, the interrupter is an integral part of one pole. So this is one pole. And that contacts and all are placed inside this top insulator. So replacing this is certainly a headache. The reason is that we have to evacuate the gas. You have to make sure that gas don't go into the environmental conditions because it's one of the um, dangerous greenhouse gases. So you have to do the proper gas evacuation, take out this pole, uh, maybe send it to the factory because you cannot repair it uh, in the open environment. It has to be in a controlled environment. And then uh, once it is back, you have to put it uh, in the right position, fill the gas and then do the operation. So certainly replacement of uh, the SF6 interrupter is a troublesome process compared to the uh, vacuum replacement. So that is again one of the important uh, comparison between vacuum and SF6 breaker, which takes us to the last and the most important parameter is the impact on the environment. SF6 gas certainly is one of the most dangerous greenhouse gases. 
and when it leaks into the atmosphere uh, it stays in the atmosphere for a very very long time so certainly uh, when we talk about the environmental conditions environmental impact sf6 gas or the sf6 circuit breaker lags there significantly because vacuum do not have any direct impact on the environmental conditions and that is also the reason uh, why now everybody wants to go sf6 free why people wants to have sf6 free switch gear i've talked about that uh, why we are going why we are saying goodbye to sf6 gas in one of the dedicated video i'll put link for it down in the description you can go and check it out and that's also the reason why i said in the initially if a vacuum takes over the place of sf6 circuit breaker in coming future in high and extra high voltage market uh, we should not be surprised because most of the manufacturer uh, they are coming up with the sf6 free technology there is siemens energy who have already developed up to 420 kilo volts of interrupters vacuum interrupters there is hitachi and there is ge also they have developed uh, sf6 free solutions as well so certainly vacuum can take over the sf6 circuit breaker now we have also discussed about the vacuum interruption technology with one of the industry expert in our playlist the electrical guy power panel you can definitely go and check it out to get a lot of insights on the vacuum interruption technology i'll put link for it also down in the description so i hope you are now clear with uh, the differentiation between the vacuum and sf6 circuit breaker if you are interested in wa watching more videos on circuit breakers i have a dedicated playlist on that i'll put a link for it down in the description thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning